These day, Wi-Fi signals are everywhere. So how much information do they really carry about us? For instance, can they count the number of people in an area? In this paper, we have proposed a way of counting people walking in an area based on only the received power measurements of one Wi-Fi link. Let's first see the results. Consider this area. Wi-Fi card 1 is transmitting to Wi-Fi card 2. Wi-Fi card 2 is recording its received signal power over a small period of time. We ask different number of people to walk in this area. The table shows how our approach counts the number of people. Note that our approach does not rely on people carrying a communication device. We see that we can estimate the number of people very well with only a pair of Wi-Fi cards. Now let's see the results indoors, which is more challenging. We can see that we can also count the number of people well in an indoor environment. Here's how we do it. Consider this example where seven people are walking in the area. The plot shows the received signal power over time. Can we extract the number of people based on only this plot? This is very challenging since the information we're interested in is very much buried in the received signal. Our key observation is that each person mainly affects the link in two ways. First, this person attenuates the link considerably as he crosses the line of sight. Second, he also acts as a scatterer and reflects the signal when he is not at the line of sight, leaving his mark in the form of multipath fading. Let's theoretically express the received signal when n people are in the area in terms of the line of sight and multipath effects. We also need to include the impact of static objects. Through a mark of chain modeling, we first characterize the line of sight impact. We then utilize the well-known K distribution to model the scattering impact of a single person. After some derivations, we derive an expression for the probability density function of the received power as a function of the number of people present. For instance, consider this example with seven people again. From the measurements of the Wi-Fi card, we can get the experimental probability density function. By comparing this to our derived expression, we then estimate the number of people using KL divergence. We can see that our approach estimates the number of people correctly as seven. There are several potential applications for this. For instance, heating and cooling can be optimized based on how crowded an area is. With Wi-Fi networks available in many buildings these days, this can create a new possibility for occupancy estimation, in addition to using cameras and other sensing mechanisms. See the paper for more details and results.